What is going on YouTube? It's AJ Pay bringing you another Pokemon Wi-Fi battle. This one's against Takechi88 and it's an NU match and this is the return of the NFE team. Yes, but um, I do have many battles with this team as well as just they're not as good. But this one was actually pretty decent and um, if you guys can tell I have a new layout and stuff so comment on that at the bottom and then the stuff you know if it's good or not if I can improve it or whatever. But um, yeah, I hope you guys, this day is going well because mine's pretty crappy right now because it's rainy because I do live in the rainy city anyways. But yeah, let's just go ahead and begin the battle. Gonna lead off with my Monferno lead and he's gonna lead off with the Chimeco. I'm not really sure what Chimecos can do in this tier because I don't really play a lot of NU and I've rarely seen any Chimecos till now. Um, gonna go for a Stealth Fox because I am faster so my step won't exactly work on this thing and I thought he was gonna hit me here but he's actually just gonna go for a Thunder Wave which is supposedly going to work out in my favor because now I go second so I'm able to endeavor once he hits me. So he's gonna hit me with a Psychic. That's gonna take me down to my Sturdy no matter what even... Well, it's not a crit but it's gonna take me down to my Sturdy. And this is where unfortunate things happen. He takes me down to my Sash, I get the Special Defense Drop, and I get para hacks. So. This Chimeco would be dead right now if I didn't get Parahax there because I would have endeavored at that turn and then evacuated it and this Chimeco would be dead. But um, yeah, I have to evacuate now just to get as much damage as I can and then he's just going to finish me off with a Psychic. So instead of my Infernape being alive, well not Infernape, Monferno being alive and Chimeco being dead, it's the opposite way around with Chimeco still alive and this Chimeco does give me a bit of problems in this game. Gonna go into Dragonair now because I'm pretty sure I can fear him out because I'm a special defensive wall. But he actually is going to set up some... Uh, reflect there so we know two of his moves now so we know he has reflecting psychic and this is really important for later but I'm um, gonna set up dragon dances because I know he can't do anything to me unless if he has hidden power ice which I highly doubt he's gonna have so I might as well just keep on setting up dragon dances till he actually switches out and I believe he's gonna go for a psychic now and look how much this does to me this is how much a special defensive wall Dragonair can be but then again I do have Eevee light on this thing but at this point, I'm at plus 3 now with the Dragon Dance, and this is where he's going to go for a Thunder Wave. Now, this Thunder Wave does not really bother me, because I do have the Shed Skin ability. That, and I know he's probably going to switch out this turn, and I'm able, I'm going to be able to hit something. So, he's going to switch out now, and he's going to go into Slack King, and Slack King is about to eat the Outrage. Plus 3 Outrage. But the only problem is, I get para hacks. So, I know I can't take a hit from this thing, and I don't know what set this thing can be. So, I have to switch out and go to my Shogun now. Just to take the hit. And he's going to go for a Giga Impact. Which is kind of surprising. Because Giga Impact is kind of. Even though very good. Well not good move. But it hurts a lot. It You do have to recharge. But then again he does have the true ability. But he can't switch out at the same time though. Because of the Giga Impact. So I'm able to get a free wish on. And then I know he's going to switch out. He's going to switch back out into his Chimeco. And I'm assuming he's going to set up a Reflect again. As I do go for the Protect. Usually I would attack there. But I was really fearing that he might attack again because I don't want to lose my Shellgon because Shellgon I really need against that um, slacking unless if I get rid of the rest of his pokes but either way he's gonna set a reflect again and I'm gonna go for a toxic and I know these things can carry heal bell and I didn't realize that till after I toxicated him but I'm gonna bake on the fact that he might not but if he does have heal bell he can waste a turn using it so either way this toxic is gonna help me out a bit I'm gonna switch out now and I'm gonna go into my Dragonair again because I obviously wall this thing and I I guess I predicted the Thunder Wave too. Oh, I, I think I just went in there just to wall him either way. But I do get the Shed Skin ability this time which is great. And at this point we know three of his moves, Psychic, Reflect, and T-Wave. So his fourth move might be Light Screen, it might be Heal though, who knows. But now he's going to switch it to his Weezing as I do go for a Dragon Dance. And this time I'm looking at Weezing and I'm just like, why is his name Little Wayne first off? But um, that's irrelevant. Um, I guess because Lil Wayne spits a lot of rhymes and then he gets all tired and he wheezes? I don't know. If someone can tell me why he named it Lil Wayne, please comment below. But gonna go into my Haunter now because I know he's probably gonna go for the poison move and I four times resist it. He does get a crit there so I actually take that pretty well despite the fact that Haunter does have really, really frail defenses. But I'm gonna predict him to switch out now into his um, Licky Tongue to be resisted to the ghost move. So I'm just gonna go for the Sludge Bomb. <clears throat> sludge Bomb, right? Yeah, Sludge Bomb. And this does a decent amount, and I don't know why he has a Licky Tongue instead of um, a Licky Lick. I imagine a Licky Lick would be better, but I guess he might have this for defensive purposes. Not really sure. But I have to go for Sludge Bomb again because I'm locked into it. 
And for some reason he goes for power up, I guess because that's the only attack he could hit me with at this point. And I believe he's thinking that he has to death fire this Licky Tongue out, which he's going to and that will take out Licky Tongue. But now he's going to go into Flareon and I'm fearing mainly any attack this thing can go for. And I know it's pretty good, especially defensive wise, because I do have one and I use it in RU. But I'm going to go into my Dragonair now, because I thought this thing would be a special attacker as well, the same set as mine. But he actually goes for a Flame Charge, which I take pretty well because of the Eevee Light. But then again, it shows that he's physical, so I don't really want to stay in because then he has a Toxic Orb, so he is the Guts Boosted set. Well, I guess I do stay in because I think I could take the Facade, but I barely live, luckily. And then I'm just going to go for a Waterfall, and I believe that will take out the Flareon. No, it won't. It did not take out the Flareon, but um, either way, I can Toxic Stall this thing now. So I'm going to switch out and go back into my Shogun just to take any hit this thing can do to me. Because I believe this thing can't learn Ice Fang, so he can't really touch me. But he's going to go for a Bite, possibly predicting a switch or just switching up moves. Um, and at this point, I could have protected here, but I believe I didn't want to because I wanted to get a Wish Up instead and get some health back on either the Shogun or whatever needs to switch in later. So either way, that's going to take out the Flareon because of its own Toxic Orb. So it took itself out, so that's very nice. But now he's going to switch out to his Chimeco, and this is where we learn Chimeco's fourth move in a second here. As he shows that he has Light Screen, so therefore, he does not have Heal Bell, so I can just basically Toxic Stall this thing if I wanted to. But I decided to go for the Dragon Claw just to get as much damage as I can. And now he's just going to try to set up his screens, and I'm going to try to kill him as fast as I can before he sets up the second screen. Well, he already did set up the second screen, but what he could have done now is switch out to something to take the hit because both his screens are up but he decides to follow Chameko now which is I believe would be a is a bad move because it would have been better for him just to switch into something because anything could take a hit at this point and will still have a reasonable amount of health and he could have had Chameko later for death fodder but now he goes into this Ludicolo and I'm gonna switch out fearing any attack from this thing gonna go to my Dragonair now as death fodder and to see what he wants to do he shows Sword Dance and I'm just like crap. If he decides to Rain Dance next turn, I'm pretty much screwed because it might be faster than my Choice Scarf Haunter. But now as you can see, the screens are going down as he could have just set up behind those screens if he switched this thing in earlier, but I don't understand. It would have possibly changed the outcome of the game. It would have made it definitely closer for sure. But um, both his screens are gone now. He finishes me off with a Seed Bomb. And I'm going to go into my Girder now because I know Girder can take a hit from this thing, I believe, but... Yeah, he's gonna go for a waterfall, and I have Evil Light on this thing as well. And I don't take that as well as I thought, but then again, he's at plus two and he has Life Orb. I'm gonna go for a Drain Punch. This won't kill him, but it will take it down to the range where I can mock Punch him in the face. So I'm gonna mock Punch that Duck Face thing in the face. Yeah, Duck Face. So many of those on Facebook. Um, that's another story. I can go on and rant about it all the time. But um, gonna go. He's gonna go into his Slack King now, and I'm. Basically fearing the Giga Impact again, so I'm gonna go to my Shell Gun once again just to um, wall this thing. But he decides to go for a Fire Punch. I don't know what he's thinking there, because he probably knew I was gonna switch out. But I don't know. Maybe that was his only other move he can use that won't make him recharge. If that makes sense. But he's gonna switch into his Weezing now, and I'm just gonna go for a Dragon Claw just because you know if he stayed in, I got damage on him. But either way. Now that I know that Weezy's in, I'm going to switch back out to Haunter again because I know I can take any hit this thing can throw at me most likely unless if he... Actually no, he does... No, that's what I thought at least until I switched it and he shows that he has Thunderbolt. So that's going to easily take out Haunter but that's perfectly fine with me because at this point I'm going to now switch into my Gadabra which is the only NFB poke on this team that I have not shown in any battles yet. So I'm going to go for the sub because I thought he was going to switch into the Slack King here so that way I can get two hits on the Slack King instead of just one because I believe Slack King is faster than me in general. But he's just going to stay in and go for a Sludge Bomb break myself so I know he's probably just going to stay in at this point so I might as well just finish this thing off with a Psychic which is what I'm going to do. So now he has one poke left and that is going to be the Slack King and I believe this will be the game here. Because he's just going to switch in slacking and it's going to eat a hidden power fighting. So that was a good game to catch the 88. Um, if... Layout. Yes, my layout. If you guys like my layout, um, tell me in the description. Tell me if I can make it better. I'm also trying to improve the channel as well. Oh, hold up. He lived. <laughs> hold up. I did not know he lived that. 
Oh wow, he's actually gonna finish off my cadaver. Um, I don't remember this part of the battle, but I guess he did live that barely. But yeah, oh yeah, I go into my girder now. I just mock punch in the face for the win. But yeah, anyways, um, like I was saying, gonna try to improve my channel a bit, make have a nice background and stuff. I'm new to all this like photoshopping thing, and I got some more things going on as well. So look forward to that. And like if you like, comment if you like, and subscribe if you like, and I'll see you guys later.